in 1908, William and Mary Collins settled in Buckeye, Arizona. They built their dream house on a ranch. After settling in their new home, they lived a quiet life with their twin boys, Eugene and Gregory. The family soon expanded to include three rowdy little girls, <laughs> Rose, Esther, and Clara. Years later, a bizarre circus crawled into town. The circus folk consisted of society's rejects, the unfortunate freaks, the demented clowns, and every strange thing in between. Eugene and Gregory were mesmerized by the magician's act. Their eyes grew big watching a woman being sawed in half. Their imaginations began to work thinking, how could we do this? Even though the circus was just here for the weekend, the boys were hooked. It was innocent at first, card tricks and juggling, but the feat soon became more dangerous with knife throwing and fire eating. The neighbor's cat, Larry, was one of the boys' first participants. One day, Gregory, tried the knife throwing <laughs> trick with Larry. After that day, Larry was known by the kids around the neighborhood as Tripod. Hello. Eugene was fascinated by fire. While his parents were out, he gathered the supplies for his fire eating trick. Unfortunately, Rose was curious about what her big brother was doing. She abruptly walked into Eugene's room while he was practicing. Rose was never able to grow eyebrows again. The boys weren't sure how to do the sawing trick, so they enlisted their sister, Esther. This trick was the breaking point for the Collins' parents. Sadly, the doctors could not reattach Esther's two fingers. Their father, William, berated the boys, demanding to know what they were thinking. The boys responded, saying, It was all part of the trick. William saw no remorse or empathy on his boys' faces. He condemned them to military school. The night before they were supposed to be shipped off, Eugene and Gregory performed their most deadly trick. While the family slept, the house caught fire. The blaze went from the carpet to the curtain. While watching on the back porch, the boys stood hypnotized by the enormous flames. The rest of the Collins family never awoke again. The sirens of the fire truck broke the twins' trance. Eugene and Gregory took off, but before they left, they raided the tools from the gardening shed including two chainsaws for their next performance. They ran into the maze, past the creepy scarecrows, and soon were nowhere to be found. It took 12 months of hard work to restore the manor to its original beauty. Tenants have come and gone, but no one wants to stay for fear of the strange and unexplained activity that goes on in and around the house. It is rumored that the spirits and ghosts of that bizarre circus that crawled into town so many years ago now occupy the house where the Collins family used to live. 
whatever became of Eugene and Gregory Collins? After the dreadful and horrible day of the fire, they ran away into the maze and were never seen again. Until now. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.